Yeah, really so cool. this is something that we have talked about on the show before. I've asked various people to define data engineering versus machine learning engineering. Do you guys want to take mm -hmm. a quick crack at that? Yeah, and I, I think um, really as we describe data engineering, it has its own life cycle, really from getting data from source systems to making it available to you know data scientists and and probably machine learning engineers. I, I my version of this, and I'd love Matt's version of this too, but. Machine learning engineers really pick up where the uh, data engineers leave off, right? So data yeah, engineering exactly. has a very similar life cycle, but it, it's a different life cycle, right? And, and it has a different set of requirements. Uh, everything from training models to storing features, um, you know, um, observing models, retraining models, and so forth. I mean, that's its own workflow that's, uh, I would say, separate. But I we, we do make an argument in the final chapter of the book that these these um, practices of data engineering and machine learning engineering and software engineering, um, in fact, may actually be on a collision course, um, which we can talk about in a bit. But uh, Matt, what do you think about ML engineering? I, one comment I have is that I think there's kind of some competition right now going on between data engineers and ML engineers. And sometimes we see in companies a lot of repeated work because there's inadequate integration between these teams. Mm. Um, so kind of like Joe was saying, I think our vision is that you, the ML engineers sort of take over where this core data engineering takes off, but by, by working together, these teams can be much, much more efficient because there's b this big area of overlap where it's like, okay, data processing to featureize my data. Well, that's something that either data engineers or ML engineers can do. Mm -hmm. And so they should be coordinating on that kind of process. Right. 